Tic Tac goes orange today on the Candy Isle. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to another review. My name is Jeff. Today on the docket, Tic Tac Orange. That is right. I've done a few Tic Tac reviews. Um, interesting. I, I want to talk about this quickly. You know, obviously, I've, I've, I have done a few mint reviews. Fine. Makes sense. I, uh, you know, done a lot of stuff from the candy aisle. Mints adjacent, you know, they're in the, they're in the impulse section at the, at the checkout of your, of your, you know, grocery store. Um, but Tic Tac Orange, I thought were massive. I think, I feel like they are. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's just cause I've seen Juno one too many times, but, um, uh, I always thought that these were like the big ones. And I know that they came out around, like right around, I believe they came out with the original Tic Tacs in 1968, or maybe it's 19, on the Tic Tac website, it says it's 1969. Wikipedia says 1968. Regardless, the, uh, you know, the mint flavored Tic Tacs obviously came out from the Ferrero company. And then they, uh, and then they also came out with this orange. And in my mind, orange has always been around because like, uh, you know, it's like one of those like classic flavors. It's like tang, an orange kind of like art. It's a very much like tang, like a, like an artificially sweet orange flavor. It's not like straight orange. It's kind of like almost like a, like a clementine kind of a sweetness to it. You know, that kind of artificial, that tang taste. That's what I always associated Tic Tacs with. Like old fashioned orange <laughs> flavoring. Um, but now I come to understand, I'm not sure. Are these actually available in all markets? I'm, I don't really know. Um, because I go on TicTac.com and, uh, which I assume has the, you know, the US probably Tic Tacs that are available. Now, Tic Tacs are available like 130 countries or something like that. Like they're all over the world and they have wide varieties of different Tic Tacs everywhere. But from my money, I always thought that sort of the, the mint, the orange, and then the fruit adventure Tic Tacs were like the three that I always saw. And then more recently, <coughs> excuse me, um, more recently, you're seeing a lot of Tic Tac gums on the market, right? Um, However, on TicTac.com, on the flavor section there for like what I presume is the U.S. market, there is no orange listed there. There is an orange uh, lime combo, which I remember from when I was a kid. We had that in Canada as well. They probably didn't produce Tic Tacs in Canada back then. They probably just imported them from the States. Um, and uh, I remember that fondly. It was just it's like a lime in like a like a, but a, I think it was an orange lime. Right. Or was it a lemon lime? Anyway. They don't have or straight orange in the States. Is this something that you guys have where you live? Because I see these everywhere. Um, I do believe that one of the unique things to Canada, or maybe it's just a few markets, is this orange colored plastic. And they do this so that they don't actually have to color the Tic Tacs themselves. If you see in there, the Tic Tacs are just white. Um, but they are orange flavored. This is the same orange flavoring. So I'm not sure. Maybe it's, I guess it just saves money. I mean, if these are like... Some of the most popular ones, it might make sense to save money on, sorry, on, uh, it might make sense to save money on, fl on coloring, just color the plastic rather than color the actual candy itself. Wow. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm losing this, these things easy to escape these little capsule like Tic Tacs. Um, if you have seen any of my other Tic Tac reviews, you, you know, a bit about this. I mean, there's not much to tell right there. Uh, just little one calorie pieces of sugar branded as mints they are kind of in the mint family i always consider them more candy than mint um this one in particular has a very strong very distinct orange flavor let's get into it if you hadn't had these oh baby that's good man <laughs> i forgot how great that flavor is it's like a it's like a just a a burst of, of sweet so sweet orange goodness um but like super artificial that's why i think of tang do you guys know tang you probably you know a lot of people are probably too young to remember that but tang is like it's a powdered it was a powdered drink that was popular back in the olden days i had it a few times when i was a kid i i'm sure it's still around it's kind of like um kind of like kool-aid you know where you would get powder and you would mix it with uh you know water and and it would make a like a, a fruit drink, quote unquote. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a really sharp, sweet, fun, 
Like, man, I could honestly just pour this whole box down my throat. It's so good. <laughs> I wish that they did have the orange color Tic Tacs and then the clear box like they used to. Because they definitely used to have that when I was a kid. Like I said, <clears throat> my impression is that likely where I live here in Canada, they just used to import them. And now maybe they're made here? I don't know. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, so Ferrero, Canada, right? In North York, Ontario. That is just part of Toronto. Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, so they probably manufacture these here based on that. Uh, so that's probably the deal why they did that. But, you know, um, other than the minor presentation issue, I'm not even really going to fault it because at least they gave this awesome, like, glowy sort of day glow orange plastic container, right? I bet you, I haven't actually looked this up, but I bet you anything that if you went onto YouTube or TikTok or whatever, you could find um, people doing like cool hacks to use these Tic Tac cases as something else, right? They're a really great size. And obviously like the engineering on the, the old living hinge here, pretty awesome. Um, they're very cool. Right? And this orange plastic is great. It's like, it's almost like, it feels like one of those like see-through Lego pieces, you know? Um, like it's that kind of brightness. I love it. Anyway, the Tic Tac mints themselves are great. They are uh, super flavorful. I love the, uh, I love the, um, the crunch. As usual, the inside is just a mint, guys. There's nothing really to see there. Um, they're just little capsules. They've got a bit of a crunch, but easy to get through. Not difficult. Um, and yet the outer layer has that nice glossy, glossy sort of look to it, right? Even though they are so, so small. Love the nostalgia, love the noise, you know? Great for like having a couple, putting them in your pocket and saving the rest for later. Um, Tic Tac Orange. Guys, these things are fantastic. If you haven't had these, I don't know why, uh, unless they're not available in your market. If they are, go get some. <laughs> if you haven't had them, for some reason, try and try and have these because they are fantastic. Uh, Walking the Candy Isle rates Tic Tac Orange full five out of five. I think they are probably the best Tic Tac out there, but I haven't tried a lot of the different SKUs and some of the newer things that uh, are on the market now. So maybe I'll look up some of those other ones. My sort of thoughts around uh, reviewing the Tic Tacs was that at least I was going to do those three big ones that I always see at the candy aisle and in the grocery store. Um, but if you guys have specifics that you think I should review, let me know in the comments below, uh, bearing in mind, of course, that like a lot of stuff is really regional with Tic Tacs because they're in so many different markets. And it's probably so easy to just um, localize specialty flavors that I could only get what I can find, right? Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate your time today. This was kind of a quicker one. And uh, thanks. We'll see you next time. So long, everyone. Bye-bye.